Yes, let's talk about the mathematical skills in English language and uh, I leave the question uh, one uh, unanswers because it will take a lot of time to explain that one. So I go to the question number two. So this is a, a real question paper uh, in the last year online paper Finland entrance exam. So I already explained the reasoning skills questions and you can uh, watch that video and then uh, this video is about mathematical skills so correct answers get two point but uh, incorrect answer get minus uh, point 0.4 points if you are no answer zero point so uh, let's go to the question number two so this is uh, there are four triangle in the image below the number inside each triangle is determined based on the numbers at its vertices. So inside number is determined by the outside three numbers. What number should be inside in the fourth triangle? So we have to find out the pattern. So pattern is my dear friends 16 minus 3 13 13 plus this 7 20 okay let's check 8 plus 6 is uh, 2 then then 2 added by 18 is 20 so this one also 6 minus 8 is minus 2 and 11 added minus 2 mean 11 minus 2 that mean 9 so likewise we, I can take this one 9 minus 4 is 5 5 added to 12 is 17 so answer is 17 but 17 is not in this uh, answer so none of these so you can see these 7 and 1 they given like that to uh, mislead you okay so let's talk about the question number three Eve left the left for the school at uh, 7.53 and was there at 8.05 in the afternoon she left for home at uh, 14 hours 23 but since she played with her friends on the way she did not reach home until uh, 15 and 11 uh, how much longer did the trip home last compared to the trip to school so uh, there are uh, two trip trip to school and trip to home so trip to uh, school start at 7 uh, 53 and end up uh, 8 5 that mean 12 minutes and trip to home uh, it took 48 minutes so you know that uh, trip to school and trip to home uh, the same distance so uh, but uh, it took longer uh, minutes because she paid she play with her friends on the way when she back to the home so this is the time 36 minutes uh, she took uh, longer than the trip to school so that 36 minutes uh, uh, you had to convert into the hours so 36 divided by 60 uh, 0.6 hours so 0.6 hours so it's straightforward question very easy so when you are calculating this uh, time you can use this uh, www.calculator.net site or you can google time calculator and you can find some time calculator in a, a free time calculator in a web so there you have to enter this time and they, you can easily find out this uh, duration from the time calculator so use time calculator otherwise no need to uh, subtract and uh, waste of time okay let's go to the question number four a b and c are currencies of different country the uh, three a's three a's are worth four b's that means three a's worth four b's and five b's are worth one c five b's is one c so this is the equation uh, how many a's are in two c's so you have to uh, you have to solve this question solve these equations so uh, if you solve this equation you, you remove this b because you don't no need b you need a and c so you can uh, find this kind of relationship but the question is how many a's are in two a's so how many how many a's are in two c's so carefully look at the two c's so here if you put 2c here it will become 
7.5a from here no so uh, the 7.5 is the answer question number five the length of the board is 150 centimeter it is cut into the three parts so that the ratios of the length are uh, 1 into 2 into 6 what is the different between the length of the longest part and the shortest part so uh, if it is board like this so it uh, 450 centimeters uh, long board so it's cut into the one two three like this is the ratio so uh, when you are doing this one so the question asks what what is the difference between the low what is the difference between the length of the longest part and the shortest part so longest part and the shortest longest mean this six one shortest mean this one okay so uh, if you added this to one plus two plus six is nine so uh, um, four, uh, 450 divided by nine mean one part so if you uh, multiply by six mean uh, this longest part so we have to get a different no? this is a different to get the different this is shorter shorter part so this is belong to the shorter part this is belong to the shorter part and this is belong to the longest part so different is this much so if you solve this equation you'll get uh, 250 250 cm so 250 is not here and uh, not here also so none of these the answer okay question number uh, six okay let's go to the question number six the monthly salary of the worker is this much 1850 uh, euro his tax rate is 13.8 uh, 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 and unemployment insurance contribution is 1.2 percent of the salary so these are the dedu deductions okay uh, what is the combined amount of tax and unemployment un un insurance he paid during half a year half a year means six months okay before half a year we take uh, so this is the tax this is the monthly pay this is the monthly pay and uh, and uh, show to calculate the tax amount so is 13.8 so this is the tax amount okay and also the insurance pay is 1.2 so this is the insurance pay 22.2 uh, okay all together this much of uh, deduction coming from one month for the half any or six month this much so if you solve this equation so uh, solve this uh, one you will get this is the answer okay so let's go to the question number seven Parking fee is zone A and zone B are four dollars sorry four uh, euro per hour and uh, three euro per hour respectively. That means A four euro per hour, B three euro per hour. Which of the following is true? Okay, statements are there. Which of the following is true? Okay, let's uh, let's look at the first statement. The fee in the zone A is twenty five percent higher than the fee in the zone b okay fee in the zone a fee in the zone a uh, you know we we know that uh, four hours sorry uh, four uh, euro per hour and three euro per hour so the higher than higher than zone b so uh, so a is four b is three so this much of different there but it it should be compared with the zone b no so here we uh, here the statement is uh, the fee in the zone A this much of higher than fee in the zone. So we have to compare with the zone B. So zone B amount is three euro, and this is a different, okay, different, A and B different. So then if you want to uh, uh, find out the percentage, you have to multiply by hundred. So the answer is this much. So not the twenty five percent. So this is wrong and uh, if you go to the other one parking in uh, parking in zone B is one third cheaper than parking in zone A okay parking in zone uh, uh, here this is the our charge zone B three and zone A our charge is four so uh, the cheaper I mean the different is one okay 
so then so this compare with the parking in zone a parking in the zone b is one third cheaper than so compare you had to compare with the zone a okay so zone a value is actually four four is the zone a value no okay you have to compare with the four so you have the the, the compare with the a no the, the it should be compared with the a okay then then okay you have to come so so four come under the one so this is the amount and this is the one so it's is not one third it is uh, one fourth no so here they said one third so it's also wrong using the same amount of money you can park in the zone a for a 25 percent shorter period so it's period now we are talking about the period time then so so let's take uh, let's take i have 12 uh, euro okay this is the example 12 euro so uh, for zone a uh, for the 12 euro uh, you know 12 uh, divided by 4 the 4 is a rate then you can park uh, 3 hours in zone a with the with the 12 12 dollars 12, 12 uh, euros for the same amount of money you can park 4 hours in zone b so you can power more uh, 1 hour more in zone b okay one hour more. Uh, so then, uh, what is the the now we had to compare with the using the same amount of money. So I use the same amount of money for the both. Same amount of money. You can park zone A for uh, uh, twenty five percent sh uh, shorter period than zone B. So, so you had to compare with the zone B then. Zone B. So zone B amount is come to the down. Okay. So the difference is one hour. So. 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 100 so it's 25 percent so it's come to the 25 percent that is so it's, it's correct answer so so the answer for this question is third one okay question number eight uh, there is an ice hockey game being played between two local ice hockey teams uh, a and b during the interval the questionnaire was given to the Spectres, spectators uh, to establish which team they should support. The results uh, are in the table uh, below. How many percentage point was the difference between men and women supported team A? Okay, so um, it, this is team A, so this is men, women, and team B. So for when you talk about the men total number of men are this much okay 144 so half of them support the team a and half of them support the team b okay and uh, the total woman is eight so this much peer women are support of the team a this much women are support of the team b so if you take about the <coughs> percentage wise then we have to uh, if this is the uh, men support 50 percent and this is the Woman support for the uh, team A. Okay, so it uh, comes to the 40%. So, different is 10%. So, then the day, now here we ask how many percent percentage point was the different between. So, different. So, different is 10 percentage point. Okay, I think you will understood that one. Okay, this is a nice question. Uh, Leon is six years older than his sister Anna. Uh, so we have to take the statement so Anna this is the age of Anna so Leon is six years older than his sister so Leon is older than so uh, you have to add six years if you want to take the Leon's age no so this is the equation this is the equation of that statement the age of their mother is four times the age of Anna so Anna Anna multiplied by 4 is mother's uh, age. So these are the uh, two equations from the these two statements. If the age of the Leon is denoted by x, so Leon age is denoted by x, how should we denote the age of their mother? So very straightforward. If you put x here, then you can take Anna like that, x minus 6. So mother is four times x minus six. So it is uh, let's come to the four uh, four x minus twenty four. 
Okay, so if you go to the answers uh, here, so 4x minus 24 is here. So this is the answer. Okay, so don't don't think about this. Uh, don't afraid of this kind of uh, notations. This is uh, function notations. So <coughs> look at here. It is the same thing is appear here. And the same thing is appear here, and the same thing is appear 4x 4x like that. So, so the this 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 one is actually no need to write, okay? The uh, but the answer is four uh, x minus twenty four. So, this answer. So the, this document actually you can download by this site, okay? If you go to this site, you can freely. Uh, the document is available free of free of charge on this uh, site, okay? So, if anybody interested, you can download from there. Uh, this is the last one, question number 10. <clears throat> the difference between the squares of two successive positive integer is this much. Uh, which of the following is smaller of these numbers? So, difference between the squares, square mean this, this is the square, no? Square of two uh, successive positive positive integer this positive integer. so if it is xn so which of the following is uh, small that means uh, they talk about this uh, uh, the near near numbers no they talk about the near number though if it is, this is the number line if you think this is as a number line so xn here xn plus one here xn uh, plus two here Okay, xn minus 1 here, xn, xn minus 2 here, like that. Uh, if you think about number line, so these are the, these are the successive positive integer, no? So, yeah. So, uh, then what happened here? xn plus 1, xn plus 1 uh, square, okay, square minus xn is equal this much, no? This is the equation, no? So, it says like that, no? So, the difference between the squares of two successful positive integers the difference between that mean this one different between okay different between two successful positive okay, positive also integer is so this is the equation then if you solve this equation xn come to this much okay this much so this uh, answer is not here so none of this the answer okay so from here i took uh, this uh, fully mathematical skill uh, question paper uh, came last uh, online exam i think uh, this will help you to pass uh, tomorrow exam okay thank you very much bye bye